Welcome back to LoloSup. Today we are diving into visceral fat. Make sure to watch until the end to learn what visceral fat is, why it's dangerous, and how to get rid of it. What is visceral fat? Visceral fat is the fat stored deep in the abdomen, surrounding organs like the liver and intestines. Unlike subcutaneous fat, fat just beneath the skin, visceral fat is hidden but more harmful. Poor diet, inactivity, stress, and genetics contribute to visceral fat accumulation. Visceral fat is metabolically active, releasing inflammatory chemicals, cytokines, that increase the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and other metabolic disorders. A 2018 study in Nature Review's Endocrinology highlighted the association between visceral fat and insulin resistance, as well as heightened inflammation, leading to chronic diseases. Visceral fat raises LDL, bad cholesterol levels, by releasing cytokines that alter lipid metabolism. A 2010 study published in The Lancet showed that these inflammatory molecules disrupt the liver's ability to process cholesterol, causing a buildup in the arteries. Visceral fat leads to an overproduction of cholesterol that accumulates in the arteries, forming plaques. These plaques harden and narrow the arteries, atherosclerosis, increasing the risk of heart attacks and strokes. This process is accelerated due to the inflammatory environment created by visceral fat. Visceral fat interferes with the body's ability to manage insulin by releasing free fatty acids and inflammatory markers like tumor necrosis factor alpha, tnf -a. These substances make cells less responsive to insulin, leading to insulin resistance and, eventually, type 2 diabetes. A study published in Diabetes Care found that visceral fat significantly impairs insulin signaling pathways, making glucose regulation difficult. Besides heart disease and diabetes, visceral fat is also linked to liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, certain cancers like colorectal and breast cancers, and cognitive decline. This simple waist-to-hip calculation helps estimate visceral fat levels. To find the waist-to-hip ratio, divide the waist circumference by the hip circumference. For example, if your waist is 30 inches and your hips are 40 inches, your ratio is 0 0.75. Women should aim for a ratio below 0.85 and men below 0.90, as higher ratios indicate more visceral fat and a greater risk of metabolic diseases. MRI and CT scans are the most accurate methods to measure visceral fat, but they are expensive and less accessible for regular monitoring. A diet rich in soluble fiber like oats, legumes, and fruits helps reduce visceral fat. A study in obesity showed that fiber increases the body's sensitivity to insulin and helps reduce fat accumulation. Soluble fiber slows down digestion, reduces hunger, and improves the gut microbiome, all of which contribute to lower visceral fat levels. Refined carbs and sugars spike insulin and promote fat storage, particularly visceral fat, according to research in Nutrients, 2017. Limiting these foods can reduce visceral fat over time. Protein promotes fat loss while preserving muscle mass. The Obesity Review study highlights protein-rich foods as effective for reducing visceral fat. Regular aerobic exercise like running, cycling, and swimming has been shown to specifically target visceral fat. A study in Journal of Sports Medicine 2020 found that 30 minutes of daily moderate-intensity aerobic exercise can significantly reduce visceral fat. Lifting weights or doing resistance exercises helps reduce fat while building muscle, as evidenced by a study in obesity, 2017. This combination is more effective than cardio alone for visceral fat reduction. Chronic stress raises cortisol, a hormone that promotes visceral fat storage. Meditation, mindfulness, and yoga can help reduce stress and cortisol levels, preventing further fat accumulation. A 2010 study in sleep showed that sleep deprivation is linked to higher levels of visceral fat. Ensuring adequate sleep, seven to nine hours per night, helps regulate hormones and fat storage. Visceral fat poses significant health risks, but with dietary changes, regular exercise, stress management, and proper sleep, it can be reduced. Focus on long-term, 
sustainable changes that will improve your overall health and well-being. Start implementing these changes today and share this video with anyone who wants to improve their health and reduce visceral fat. Leave a comment below and let us know how your health journey is going. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to help our channel grow.